It's not your typical backyard BC greenhouse. These trees are like, they're heroes. Lemons, oranges, avocados, pears, and even these, a Buddha's hand citron. More than 34 varieties of subtropical fruits. I'm just super curious about every aspect of, of making this work. I'm, I'm like spending time with a microscope. I'm monitoring the progression of the biology in the soil, the fungal interrelationships. I'm like, that's my passion. Growing takes patience and creativity, and not to mention Southwest BC's climate much milder than the rest of Canada. I am growing anything that I can grow that's somewhat subtropical that can tolerate one degree centigrade. The greenhouse relies solely on these pools of rainwater. In the winter, a wood gasifier furnace heats the water. These fans circulate the heat from the pools, while these curtains prevent heat loss. The entire system prevents the plants from freezing. I chose uh, to grow this, this stuff with as little energy inputs as possible. Squire believes experimenting can help improve food security by understanding how to make fruit more resilient to extreme temperatures. When we had that heat dome here, um, and uh, I had a 40% shade over this greenhouse, it's getting a little extreme for them at that level, but um, I came through just fine in that uh, heat dome. And she's not the only one doing this work. The fruit here, it's just about ready to pick. Bob Duncan's greenhouse near Sydney has more than 400 varieties of tree fruits. Most of these Mediterranean things nobody dreamed of before. So we are successfully growing citrus of all kinds. When cold weather hits, Duncan uses incandescent Christmas lights for heat and a cover to keep the fruit alive. One string of Christmas lights that in our climate here would be on maybe 10 nights in the entire winter so you got 200 lemons for $2 worth of energy. This is a pomegranate called Utah Sweet. His long-term goal is to get more people on the south coast experimenting. If something happens in the areas where food is principally produced in California and Florida, um, uh, we have a backup plan and can produce most of this fruit ourselves locally and are not dependent so much on offshore food production. Experts say finding new ways to produce enough food locally year round is vital. We are very reliant on imports and that can be a little scary. She says while projects like these cultivate valuable lessons, it can still be a very difficult pursuit. At some level, this is a niche activity that takes a lot of effort and is probably not financially viable at scale yet. And as these fruits ripen for Squire and Duncan, it's a labor of love, inspiring others to think outside the box while enjoying a bite too. Beneath Breach, CBC News, Vancouver.